Rearmed Aether provides arcane nihility to all of the beast cavaliers and in this video I'll be going over the best users of it and the builds that you can run with this weapon. So arcane nihility is a 14 might beast stone that can give you minus one special cooldown and plus 5 to all of your stats and it does have the binding necklace built in which we have seen before on Freya and we have also seen before on Summer Ash. So what it does is that it gives you extra stats depending on the visible buffs that the foe has got. So you pretty much steal their buffs in a sense by getting more stats and by debuffing them which is really helpful in game modes where people are going to be using a lot of visible buffs. And then you can get true damage based on 15% of your speed. And finally if the unit speed is more than foe speed then you can get the full null follow up effect which is extremely good because it's pretty hard for beast units and cavaliers in general to get the full null follow up effect. And if transformed, then you're able to get plus two attack and also get attack defense clash two. And you can pretty much debuff the opponent for that. And then if two or more spaces were moved by whoever initiated, then you're able to get 30% damage reduction on foe's first attack. So overall, this is a pretty decent weapon and it can definitely help a lot of the beast cavaliers that are old and got a weapon refine a year or two ago. And they haven't really, you know, had some modern things going on for them. Speaking of modern things, they have done something which I don't think they have done before, which is give a retroactive change to all of the weapon refines of the Beast Cavaliers who have got a refine. So what they've done is that they've given the transformation uh, effects of Arcane Nihility to all of the Beast Cavaliers that have received a weapon refine. And that means that they're able to have damage reduction and also have the attack defense clash. And now they no longer have the mini impact effect that they used to have before. Some people may not like this, but some people are also going to be enjoying this kind of damage reduction because it is going to be active in both phases unlike the impact effect which Beast Cavaliers used to get on their transformation. So this is something that you have to keep in mind while giving Arcane Nihility to any of the Beast Cavalier because we're going to be giving them the Arcane Nihility based on the primary effects of the weapon and not for the transformation effects that you can get out of it for most of these Cavaliers that have received a weapon refine. So let's move on to the tier list of the best users of Arcane Nihility and the best user out of all of them is definitely going to be Summer Freya. So she has got a pretty optimized stat line for this, really good offenses and she also frees up her slot B skill from running Binding Necklace because now it's built in her weapon and that is just absolutely fantastic. So if you're a big Freya fan then this is a good news for you because Summer Freya is going to be much much better now with this weapon and New York Liar also doesn't really have the greatest weapon so this weapon can also help you and uh, this is going to be useful because of the offensive stat spread that New York Liar has got which is not really all that bad and is definitely worthy of tier 1. Then we move on to tier 2 with New York Yarn and New York Yarn does have a weapon which can help you trigger Gale Force but still overall Arcane Nihility is just a better weapon and New York Caden and Leith can also enjoy this weapon and they are going to be similarly fast and also have pretty similar offenses. In tier 3 we do have Beast Cavaliers that don't really have as much attack. So Selkie has got a weapon refund which can give her a lot of stats and she can actually get a lot of stats with Arcane Nihility as well while stealing the buffs from the opponent. So you can definitely try and get this to get the full null follow up. And Caden is usually used as a support unit but a supportive niche is uh, definitely facing a lot of competition as we have got Legend Elliewood and Young Elliewood. Um, and Legend Elliewood getting his remix and refine. Then we have got Legend Mail Robin. So there are a ton of really, really amazing support units. So if you want to use Caden for the combat, then this is the weapon to go for. And Ronald did get a weapon refine that can give him true damage. Um, you still get true damage out of Arcane Nihility, but you get even more by getting the full null follow up, which is just amazing. And also minus on special cooldown. And finally, in tier 4, I've got Beast Cavaliers, which are not really all that fast, but will still appreciate having arcane nihility because yarn and pain did get a weapon refined but it's a bit old at this point especially pain uh so you can definitely give her this weapon and it's going to be a really useful thing for her yarn can do some gale for shenanigans with this weapon refined but still you can give the full null follow up to yarn uh, with arcane nihility and this is a weapon that is generally going to be a pretty good weapon on a lot of the beast cavaliers and at worst it is going to be a side grade and for many of the Beast Cavaliers, I think that they already have good preferred weapons. Like Nerthus, for example, she does not want to give up on Fruit of Life because you can only run preferred skills with arcane weapons. So that's why Nerthus is out of the question. And so is Summer Freyr because Summer Freyr is super slow. 
And this weapon is made for fast units because like it does have the speed check for the null follow up. So Summer Freyr is fine with his own um, you know, preferred weapon that can give him the guaranteed follow up attack. New York Leith is actually pretty amazing now because um, she did get the update and she's going to be having the 30% damage reduction on top of the uh, damage reduction that she gets from her weapon and she also has the phantom speed. The only thing that she's missing that is notable is like minus and special cooldown but overall I wouldn't say that she needs it too too much. It could be a side grade mainly for the minus and special cooldown but her weapon refine is pretty good especially after this update. New York Pain also has a pretty good weapon and I guess Arcane Nihility could be a side grade but still overall that weapon is already good and if you have other Beast Cavaliers then they're probably going to be taking the precedence. New York Selkie already has the minus on special cooldown and Dragon Wall effect for the consistent damage reduction and does have the full null follow up so again she's kind of one of those units who doesn't really need that too much especially because she's going to be getting the updated effect in her weapon refine which is going to be helping her so I also consider her having a pretty good preferred weapon and for Freya I would say that you should probably wait for a couple of months because she is going to be in the line for remix and refine and she could get a remix and refine as early as next month so we'll have to see when she gets a refine and remix because it could make her a lot better especially to her binding necklace if it ends up giving her like near trace skill and all of that so keep in mind that you cannot really run the preferred skills with the arcane weapon so unless you're a whale and you're just swimming in a lot of haters I wouldn't really suggest giving you know mythic Freya uh, arcane nihility just yet because she's very close to getting her refine and remix um, and most free to play players and low spenders can uh, definitely save on that opportunity cost and maybe give this weapon to some other beast cavalier now as for the sample builds there are not going to be too many options that you can run um, on cavaliers as it is but you can definitely run attack speed clash which does have good synergy with the clash kill of the transformed effect of arcane nihility and you can also give beast sense to your cavalier um, unfortunately, you're going to be needing another Aether because it's impossible to give Beast Sense and Arcane Nihility at the same time. So unfortunately, you're going to be needing uh, more fodder and you can run Speed Smoke 4 and basically stack up the damage reduction. And the Phantom Speed built in Beast Sense is actually really good. So the only thing you're going to be missing out on is pretty much Kanto, uh, but you're going to be trading that off for having the damage reduction and Beast Sense. But if you really want to have the trace skill, then you can run Beast and Trace, or you can just run Speed Defense Unit Trace. Any of those options are going to be good. And you can easily get Attack Speed Catch 4 from the Divine Codes. And Attack Speed Menace is going to be a skill that you can run. Or you can even get Speed Defense Menace from the Divine Codes again. So that could be done on a unit like Liar, for example. And could be done on many of the Beast Cavaliers. These are just the sample builds. And because you can actually get Alarm, Attack Speed, and Arcane Nihility at the same time, you can run Lull Speed Defense in the slot B instead of having any kind of other skill. This can also be run with Beast Sense, but again, you'll be needing another Aether, which is uh, going to be a tall order for a lot of people, especially if you're a free to play player or low spender. Um, but Lull Speed Defense 4 is definitely going to be an option now, especially when you're trying to be fast and meet the speed check. So that is going to be my full Arcane Nihility tier list. Obviously not a very long video because we do not have too many candidates. Um, it's rather niche weapon, but still a lot of these Beast Cavaliers can appreciate a new weapon and getting the full null follow up. So let me know in the comments what you think about this Arcane weapon. And if you enjoyed this video, then please be sure to leave a like and a comment. It helps me tremendously. And if you really, really enjoyed, you could always support me directly by using Super Thanks down below or by becoming a YouTube member. And for more fave videos, make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell because I wish YouTube sub boxes were about as fast as Summer Freya. So with that said, I'll see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.